I am so happy to be back here, to be here recording, and uh, so you, I can talk to you guys. There's a lot to talk about. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about. I did some recordings in Brazil. Hopefully I put some in the beginning of the video, in the intro. I have to see if all the videos that I did, if everything went okay. So as I go along, I'll show you a little bit, maybe in the beginning and the end, sometime in the middle. So let's start. My vacation, everything went fine. I'm so, so happy to have seen my mother. I did spend her birthday with her. Uh, she turned 74 this year. Um, I did wear my dress on her birthday. We did go out to lunch, but I did not take any photos. I forgot to take photos. I mean, it was right after, um, the day after she had her chemo treatment. I think I told you guys that she's going through chemo, chemotherapy. Uh, she's battling uh, cancer. So she had chemo the day before and then on her birthday we went out. I didn't take any pictures. She, when she goes home, she goes with a little baggie with more chemo that she has to take for like two days. So we have to take it easy. Not a lot to do. She has to rest and all that. So we just went out for lunch. We just go out a little bit. So, but we did have a great time. On the day of my mother's chemotherapy, I did go and I did see her doctor. And he did tell me that he hopes to have her treatment finished by November. So I'm crossing my fingers, not just me, my sister too. We're crossing our fingers that everything is well and that she can finish her treatment by November. And hopefully, cross fingers again, that we can bring her uh, to spend Christmas with us. I just want to also tell you and show you something else before we get into any comments on sewing. When I got home, I got a surprise from my daughter. She um, did a little uh, redecorating of the dining room. She did purchase a whole lot of new uh, dining room um, plates and she did the whole setting there. She purchased some um, the utensils and everything. I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures for you guys to see a little video, video or picture, I'm not sure whichever comes better i'll insert here so you guys can see everything and it came out so so pretty she did spend some money but i don't even know how much money she spent on all that stuff but it came out really really pretty it is a um spring type of uh, uh, motif she wanted something a little bit different something uh, a little bit brighter so she did purchase a lot of green and the beiges right now she's still looking for something to put in the middle of the uh, table because uh, she wants to put some flowers there but we still did not find anything i did look for something she wants a vase so she can put some um flowers in there but she wants something in a particular color so that's why uh whatever i had there before it's still there but it's so so pretty uh the uh dining room that she prepared everything she purchased all the napkins the napkin rings everything 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 that it's there and it's just so so pretty and i just want to thank my daughter for doing that for our home to make it nice and pretty for springtime now let's talk a little bit about sewing <laughs> even on my vacation I could not get away from sewing. My mother had asked me to um, do something for her. She had told me before, even before I left, she's like, oh, I need you to fix something for me here. 
um, there was a bra that she had uh, to open because when she goes into her chemo, she puts a little belt with the uh, chemo on it so she can, uh, for two days, it kind of goes into the port that she has right here. And uh, the first time that she had her chemo, she had a bra on and the lady had put it, I think under the bra and or over the bra and she wasn't sure how to take it out so she had to undo the bra up here but it was something easy she didn't see that all she had to do was unbuckle the belt but after only after she had un, undone the seam here in the bra that she had she was wearing that day that she figured out that all she had to do was unbuckle the belt and so she can go and take a shower so I had to fix that bra for her and uh, there was some other stuff that she wanted uh, some elastic uh, um, sewn into and so I had to do some elastic and some other things for her. So not even on my vacation, I could stay away from the sewing, sewing machine. Today, I just wanna talk a little bit about the Beyond the Pink Door subscription box. My box arrived. I didn't do um, uh, unboxing this month because First, I wasn't here. And the box arrived two days before I was about to uh, go on my trip, so I didn't have time to even do anything. So the box arrived and I left it here in the sewing room on the table. I didn't do anything, I didn't open it all. But while I was there, I was curious because I wasn't gonna do an unboxing or anything, so I, did, I started watching some of the videos. And I looked at the videos, I'm like, oh, this fabric, it's kind of, uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm not so sure. But I'm like, okay, when I get home, I'll see which color I got. So the box that I got, the fabric that I got, this is the color of it. Hope you can see it, the color. And it always, as always, it comes with the little um, card. It says, a woman's work is never done. So I'm going to scan the QR code in the back so I can check and see what can, some ideas on what to do with this fabric. Uh, it came with bib embrace sets. These are little things to do like overalls. I'm not into oral overalls, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe if my daughter wants to do something. And also, I got uh, some chocolate. So this is really, really good. Some raspberry, no, ruby raspberry. White chocolate, ooh, white chocolate. With raspberry and ruby chocolate drops. Handmade in Ireland. Um, I am not gonna say the name of it. Don't want to butcher. But this is the fabric, the color that I got. This one here, it is a corduroy fabric here. And it has, it looks like a um, little, halfway flowers maybe maybe for a little this way here you can see it the little it's like halfway flowers you see the flower here and it's like halfway um i don't know i don't know what to do with this um it's first here we are getting into summer and this is a corduroy and it's pretty it's not hefty hefty but it's it's substantial it's not a nice and flowy fabric so uh, I don't know I don't know about the color so I wasn't too happy to be honest with you with this fabric so I have to think about what I'm going to do with this I don't know if I'll do a skirt maybe a jacket maybe I don't know maybe like a um, Maybe I'll use the Simplicity, the jean jacket that I made for my daughter. Maybe I could do that. Or maybe one of the Love Notion jackets I did purchase the last one they had. I don't know if that's just for uh, knit or for woven, but since this is a nice corduroy, yeah, it does have a nap. Yeah, nice going that way and not too nice coming this way. Yeah, so yeah, I have to think about what I am going to do with this. For sure, I will not be doing overalls because I don't like that. Not even with the skirt or pants or anything. That is not my thing. And I did ask my daughter if she wanted it and she's like, nope, nope, don't want that. That was a quick answer. She didn't want it. So I am leaning 
towards a jacket. So if you guys have any ideas on uh, what to do with this fabric, let me know, put in the comments below if uh, you agree with me to do a jacket for the fall and um, winter time, um, a skirt. But if I do a skirt, I'm not gonna use all of the uh, fabric. This is two and a half meters. It's a lot. So that's why I am inclined to do a jacket because then I will kind of use most of the fabric. So yeah. This, fat, this month, eh, 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 eh. not 100% happy, but it happens not every month. It's a box that we all love. I don't know about the other people. Everybody opened the boxes and everything, but they didn't say much what they were going to do with it, but I am going to check online and see what to do with that. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Just wanted to come here and just say that I am back and I'm happy to be back home. I missed my husband. I missed my daughter. And uh, I did watch a lot of videos while I was out. I would watch it every Friday. I did in, in Brazil, we didn't go out that much. Some days my daughter, my mother, not my daughter, my mother wasn't feeling, you know, 100%. You know how that goes when you have chemo. Sometimes you, you can't go out because you have to go to the bathroom a lot. You know what that means. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. And uh, yeah, but I did have a great time. I did enjoy staying with her and because I had not seen her in one, exactly one year, I was happy to be there. It was very, very, very hot the last few days that I was there. They had an unusual um, heat wave coming through and it was about, they said on the news that it was about five degrees Celsius. Yes, five degrees Celsius above normal. So it was very, very hot. And I am not used to that heat without having AC. <laughs> yes, because here we're spoiled. We have AC all the time. Everywhere we go, we have AC. Over there, it's not that way. So it was very, very hot, but I did have a good time and um, the weather was really, really good. As soon as I left, I did talk to my mother and then she said that the rain was coming and well, of course, after all that heat comes the rain and they were gonna get a lot of rain and she was worried about flooding and all that. Not, not where she lives, but in the city and all, there's a lot of flooding and then, you know, bad stuff happens. They also had a lot of um, dengue fever. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. So I was constantly putting on the um, uh, mosquito repellent all the time. I had to put it on, put it on, put it on all over um, because of the mosquitoes. They, it's every time during the summer, they do have the um, dengue fever. A lot of people catch it. Um, it's due to sanitation and a bunch of other problems that they have there. So. So I just wanted to thank you guys for sticking with me until the end of this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you can also subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. I am getting close to that 1K number, very, very, very close. And uh, yeah, so hopefully by the end of this week, I will be there and then uh, we'll talk about it once I reach it. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.